Hello everyone, how is it going? This is the Video Gamer 64 and Mr. Arcade Retro Gamer 64 here. I am not for sure if I'm going to be adding this on my Mr. Arcade Retro Gamer 64 channel or not. But I know I will be adding this to my the Video Gamer 64 channel. And if I could find, uh, like find my information on the Music and Antiques 64 channel on Vidly, I'll be adding it to there. But anyways guys, I'm going to go ahead and show all of you the stuff I picked up at the flea market, but first, before I do that, I am going to be showing all of you the thing that I found last week at the flea market for, uh, at another flea market for two dollars. Well, it's a thrift store I picked it up at, and I uh, picked up this Atari 2600 controller, and this one's from either 77 or 1980. I'm not exactly for sure, but obviously it comes with one button and a joystick controller. It moves left and right, up and down works pretty well and really love this controller and I highly recommend all of you to check uh, the Atari 2600 out and I recommend the controller it uh, works smoothly and everything on it works pretty good so yeah if any of you could find an Atari 2600 controller for like five dollars or under a piece I recommend y'all picking these up because they're going for over ten dollars and I would luckily pick, pick mine up for two dollars so yeah, I recommend getting that one. That kind of Atari 2600 controller. Next, we're gonna I'm gonna show all of you the music. Uh, that was what I got last weekend and uh, last Saturday to be exact. And uh, yesterday I went to Foley, Alabama. Had a good time at the their flea market and Lambert's and stuff like that. Lambert's Cafe. They got some pretty good food, and I highly recommend checking it out. But um, anyway, went to Foley, Alabama. And uh, went to went to Lambert's, and uh, then I went to the flea market, and I had a good time in the indoor flea market. So I got these eight things, set by, four things I got on music. Two of them on music cassette, and two of them on a track. So I'm gonna go ahead and show all of you the cassette tapes next. One of them's Neil McCoy's greatest hits. He's a good country singer. Highly recommend checking his music out. No doubt about that. Next we got John Denver's Greatest Hits. This is one of the early cassette tapes. And I didn't realize it until I picked it up and it says 1973. Definitely highly recommend this tape because he has a lot of good songs in general. And some of his best songs obviously it says Greatest Hits. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is uh, some of his greatest hits on this uh, album. I mean on cassette. Now the uh, eight track tapes that I got, I'm gonna go ahead and show all of you. I got Bad Company, uh, Desolation Angels album. Some of these songs feature rock and roll fantasy, and then you got Rhythm Machine and all of that good stuff. This one's from 1979, and uh, really recommend this tape. If any of you could find it cheap, I recommend it. Got the cassette tapes for 50 cents each and the 8 tracks a dollar each. So, for that, I wasn't going to pass them up, especially this next one Electric Light Orchestra, a new world record. This one's from 1976, and it has that song Tight Rope, So Fine, Living Thing, Telephone Line, Do Ya, and Shangarilla, or something like that. Anyway, one of my favorite EOO albums, this and Mr. Blue Sky, is my two favorite. Electric Like Orchestra albums. Definitely recommend picking this up. On an 8-track, cassette, record, cassette, uh, CD, anything y'all can find it on, I recommend it. Next, I got one, two, three, four comic books. The uh, first one I picked up was Power Pack Issue 75, I mean Issue 23, Marvel's 25th Anniversary Comic Book, it says. And this one's from 1984. And all of you can see uh, Power Pack Issue 23. I have not read any of these comic books yet, but uh, they look pretty good, so I picked them up. And you can't beat the price for some of these comic books, so I was very happy and thankful I got all of this stuff. So, yeah. Next, we got Power Pack Issue number 38. 
says, Beware Mokula, Mistress of Vengeance. I got a feeling I'm going to like this one a lot. No doubt about that. And this one's from 1988. Yeah, 1988, it says. So, yeah, got some old 80s comic books. Uh, next, I got Torog Dinosaur Hunter, issue number 12. This came out during the Super Nintendo era, back in the 90s. And, uh, it says 1993 on it. But it's pretty good, uh, comic book from what I heard about it and stuff. So I really recommend getting this, even though I have not read it yet. So it's, uh, issue number 12. And you can see on the back, it shows the Super Nintendo games on the back of them, the two of them. And then you can see the pictures of them and stuff like that. And the final thing I got at the flea market yesterday was the Punisher War Journal issue 17. And I love the Punisher. I'm a big fan of him and his comic books, even though this is my only one I have of him. It says, And Hawaii will never be the same. The Punisher takes a vacation. And this one's from 1989. So the most uh, modern thing I got out of all the stuff yesterday was from 1993. So I'm going to go ahead and show all of you these one more time and then I'll go ahead and end the video. Punisher War Journal issue 17. Torog Dinosaur Hunter issue number 12. And uh, if any of you don't know about Torok Dinosaur Hunter, they also made a Nintendo 64 game of it too. Back in 97, 98 I think. I remember uh, seeing some things of the game as a kid and it was pretty fun to uh, look back at and stuff after all these years. Anyway, next is pa Power Pack Issue 23. Next is uh, Power Pack Issue 38. And these four tapes I got, two on 8-track, two on cassette. A new world record from the Electric Light Orchestra. <coughs> and for all of you, you can see the songs on the back of it. I mean, for a dollar, I wouldn't go to pass up any of these on these tapes. Bad Company uh, Desolation Angels and obviously y'all can see the uh, it's not in perfect shape but because of uh, that thing I mean because of that thing but even though it's not in perfect shape I'm still happy to have it. Next we got John Denver's Greatest Hits on cassette the uh, early cassette tape from 1973 made by RCA Records then we got Nell McCoy's Greatest Hits this one is from 1997 so it's kind of vintage anyway 1997 so actually that one comic book wasn't the uh, newest item I got out of all the things <laughs> I thought it was though and the final thing that I got but it was last weekend well, the first thing I got last weekend, but the final item I'll show y'all is the Atari 2600 controller. So yeah, on YouTube, this is going to be on the Video Gamer 64, Mr. Arcade Retro Gamer 64 channel. And I'm not really for sure what I'm going to do on the Vidly. Like, if I'm, I know it's going to be on the Video Gamer 64 channel, but not for sure if I'm going to add it to Mr. Arcade Retro Gamer 64 channel on there. Or music and antique 64 channel on my Vidly channel. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. And whenever y'all see it, besides on uh, the Video Gamer 64 channel, then y'all know what my decision was. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I hope all of you guys are having a nice and wonderful Sunday. Feel free to subscribe to me on my the Video Gamer 64 channel and my Mr. Arcade Retro Gamer 64 channel. See more videos on here, of course. And uh, on Vidly, also feel free to subscribe to me on my Music and Antique 64 channel to see more videos on there. And of course, this, this is the Video Gamer 64 and Mr. Arcade Retro Gamer 64 signing off.